I absolutely love the Yoruba language. I mean, they're such an intelligent group of people. Can you believe that the Yoruba has an ingenious counting system? I'll show it to you. In this video, we shall be learning how to count numbers in Yoruba. The first 10 numbers form a base for the entire Yoruba numbers. That is, every number you name after the number 10 relies on the numbers 1 to 10. Don't get confused. It will be explained further as we go on in this video. In addition, numbers are grouped into 20s. So the county system is one that uses a group of 20s. That would also be explained further in this video, which is a more reason why you should watch this video to the end. First of all, let's count from 1 to 10. Oko or Oko Eji. Eta, Erin, Aru, Efa, Eje, Ejo, Esan, Ewa. Those are 10. Yoruba counting system makes use of addition, subtraction, and multiplication. You add for 1 to 4. So you will hear something like Okonli, Ejele. For 5 to 9, we use subtraction. D. Arundin. Erundin. For the addition, you add 1 to 4 to the number you're counting from. For subtraction, you subtract 5 to 9 from the number you're counting to. So, when we're counting from 11, we add 1 to 10. 2 to 10, 3 to 10, 4 to 10. As we are approaching 20, this is the basic thing you need to know about writing Yoruba numbers or reading Yoruba numbers. Here's how to read 11 to 14. Okonla, Ejila, Etala, Erinla. What this means is Okonla Ewa, that is 10 plus 1. So 11 means Okonla Ewa. The Ewa has been deleted to make it simpler to call. So we have Okonla, Ejila, Ejila Ewa, Etala, Etala Ewa, Erinla, Erinla Ewa. Now, from 15 to 20, we use the subtraction method. We will be subtracting from 20. So, 15 is 20 minus 5. Therefore, we have Aru de logo. 16 is 20 minus 4. We have Erin Dilogo 17 20 minus 3. Eta Dilogo 18 20 minus 2. Ej Dilogo 19 20 minus 1. Okon Dilogo 20 Ogo. From 20 to 30 Remember, we are adding 1 to 4 to 20, and we'll be subtracting 5 to 9 from 30, because we are counting from 20 to 30. So, Okonle logo, 1 added to 20. Ejile logo, 2 added to 20. Etale logo, 3 added to 20. Erenle logo, 4 added to 20. Now we are going to be subtracting from 30. Arundi Logbon, 5 subtracted from 30. 
erin di logbon 4 subtracted from 30 eta di logbon 3 subtracted from 30 eji di logbon 2 subtracted from 30 okon di logbon 1 subtracted from 30 ogbon 30 so ogun is 20 we counted from ogun and added 1 to 4 to ogun ogun is 30 we are counting to 30 so we subtracted 5 to 9 from 30 now let's count to 40 40 is ogoji we will count from 30 to 40 okon le logbon eji le logbon Eta le logbon erin le logbon arin din logoji erin din logoji eta din logoji eji din logoji okon din logoji ogoji from 40 to 100 we use multiplication and the system is to use 20 as the base for the multiplication and then multiply by a number that will give us the number we're trying to achieve. Simply put, if we're trying to achieve 60, we multiply 20 by 3. Now, there's a trick to this. For even numbers, you multiply directly. As in the case of 60, we multiply by 3, 20 by 3. For odd numbers, the trick is multiply and then subtract. You multiply by a number to give you the greater number and then subtract 10. As you can see on your screen, for instance, we are trying to achieve 50. You multiply 20 by 3 to give you an even number, which is 60. Then you deduct 10, which will now bring you back to 50. This is a counting system, or rather, this is the trick for counting in Yoruba. So, 50 is our daughter 20 times 3 minus 10 60 is ogota 20 times 3 ogota being ogu meta ogu is 20 3 is eta so ogota is 20 times 3 ogu meta or ogu lono meta that is ogu 20 in three places lono meta in three places the easier way to understand this is to first focus on the even numbers because with that you can now get the odd numbers before them. So for 60 we have Ogota, Ogun, Lono Meta. For 80 we have Ogore, Ogun, Lono Mere. For 100 we have Ogoro, Ogun, Lono Maru. Also, this system is used from 100 to 200. To achieve the odd numbers, simply deduct 10 from the even numbers. So you have multiplied 20 by 3 to give you 60. Now, subtract 10 to give you 50. There you have a daughter. So that you don't get confused of course i've shown you the trick the other simpler trick to help you master this more quickly is to know that for the odd numbers we use a a wording so a word has been contracted to have adding so when you see a daughter it means a wording near gota so we have a daughter and that is the system until you get to 200. Our daughter, 50. Our daughter, 70. Our daughter, 90. Our daughter, 110. Our doji, 130. Our daughter, 150. Our daughter, 170. 300 is odd, 400 is in rewu, 500 is a better.
like when we're counting in tens counting in hundreds as well the priority number should be the even number then you can easily make sense of what the odd number will be or rather what the name for the odd number will be for instance to get 500 what is 600 600 is egg better Igba meta 200 times 3 500 then will be a deck better 200 times 3 minus 100 800 egg berry egg by Mary then 700 will be a deck berry 1000 is egg barrel Igba Maru. So 900 will be a deck bearer. It is not common to see things like egg bearer meji for 2000, egg bearer meta for 3000, and so on and so on. In a subsequent video, we will do Yoruba arithmetic. Ishiro. Matumare ni no forami. Odabo.